You're, you're muted. Yes. He said, he said it. And Jaden is recording. Um, yeah. Karen Benson. Here. Ellen Boyer. Here. Carol Collins. Here. Doris Cowdery. Here. Ann Dillon. Here. Tim Farrell. Here. Amy Moscritolo. Here. <coughs> Fern Smith. No fun. No fun. Oh, that's right. Oh, she was here earlier today. My foot time. Um, Jean Wall. Here. Mayor. Yes, here. Roll has been called. Okay. Uh, we do not have an update from Phil. Nope. Unless anyone has anything from Phil they want to update on. No. Well, library looks great. Yeah. Mm, it looks fantastic. He and Toby did a punch list walkthrough mm -hmm. on Tuesday. So we're working on that. Yeah, okay. Punch list is a legal document mm -hmm. that is required that to be attached to the certificate of substantial completion, which we envision will be uh, good for probably. Okay. As soon as we get the elevator inspection. Right now the state has us on for the 18th, I think. Of April, Dan? Of April. So... That'll be the last major one, and then Mark will come through. And Mark Snow? Small, yeah, we got a couple of small fire alarm glitch things that they're chasing down. Okay. There's a lot of devices in that room. Mm. If one doesn't work, it's, mm. it's on. So um, they're working those out. Um, so we're in really good shape. It should be paving, too, shortly. Mm. So the rest of the driveway to the back? Oh uh, Yeah, the, the, the top coat. So... We've got some record. I'm not recording. It says stop video. No, hit record. Oh, yeah. Not working. Lisa, can you report from your app? Um, let me take a look. Yeah, I don't think I'm in control because I didn't see. No, she's sorry. Yeah. 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 So. Recording in progress. <laughs> got it. So um, they've got they've got some more curb, small pieces of curb to put in, and they'll uh, they'll put the final coat of paving down up to the edges of the, uh, of the curbing. They got the aprons in. I'm guessing the sidewalk will be reopened shortly too. Planting's next week. Yeah. That's what I heard. Oh. Yeah. Well, good yeah. maybe next week. Mm. Uh, we're in good shape. Yeah. Uh, I hope everyone liked it. Yeah, wonderful. It really is. Was it what you expected? Oh, yeah. And more. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. Right. Glad to hear that. So there's nothing better than that. Uh, budget wise, do we have a budget later? Yeah. Well, no, you're up. Uh, you were after Phil. So, so uh, budget wise, I can safely say. Um, Careful. <laughs> I can safely say that. Uh, Knowing that Fernando might have some odds and ends, I'm not cutting you off, Fernando. You got some odds and ends, we know. Um, that we're going to probably have about 1.25 to 1.4 million unexpected, somewhere in that between those two goalposts. We're today sitting at uh, 1 million 625, and we know we have $100,000 worth of disputes with the contractor that we're hacking away at, which is normal. And we, we know there's some odds and ends that uh, everyone's going to need uh, moving forward as you start to move in and you need this and you need that type slush fund type stuff. So we have an FF and E request today. <laughs> an additional one? Mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. We don't have any money. <laughs> uh, well, throw it down. Get out of the <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Just what do you mean? So do you want to do it now? Or? Do we want to do it now, or do you want to do it? I just need it early, Mom. I don't care what you buy. If the, if the committee wants it, it's you represent. Do you want to address it now, or do you want to? Okay. So um, FF&E currently has encumbered, and we have we purchased all the furnishings, all of the specialty items. Um, shelving. Shelving. Uh, the cleaning equipment. So the... The stuff that we listed additionally, like laptop vending machines, laptop 
laptops for the vending machines. That's all within the numbered amount. Yes. I just want to be sure yes, that correct. we're on the same page. So it's, um, things like the laptop vending machines, the laptops for the vending machines. We had already transferred the money. Yeah, yeah. So we have right now encumbered eight hundred and eighty-two thousand five hundred and seventy dollars and fifty-one cents. That sounds correct. Right. <laughs> And we were sitting at, so that leaves us um, with $17,429.49 still to reach that $900,000. Um, I don't know. The, oh, yeah, we did. We, we did. Yeah, we went up to $900,000. Yeah. So we do, we have other FF&E expenses beyond this that will need to come from uh, the budget. The computers are uh, the estimated figure to date. Um, the final figure will be higher, but the estimated figure to date is ninety thousand dollars, and that's twenty-one staff computers, forty-five public computers, including the eighteen for the vending, um, eight catalog computers, eleven wall-mounted monitors, one special tech, um, and then other computer needs are TVD. Um, and it's it's worth mentioning here that the, the end user computer equipment and the peripherals are considered to be FF and E expenses. So you know, it's furniture, fixtures, and equipment. Um, Except they're not they're, they're not technology is not reimbursed. Right. And we have not get our maximum reimbursement. So how does that work? So it just means it's coming out of the city side. Okay. Um. So we've also, uh, the, the children's librarians, uh, George has looked at the custodial figures. They've looked at the kitchen supplies, the makerspace supplies, the teen supplies. All told, that's about another $158,000. Really? Yeah. And, but that includes things like a snowblower that needs to be dedicated to that space, the, the carpet extractor for cleaning the carpet, an aerial lift for working on the ceilings, that sort of thing. Okay, so. Now. <laughs> now, wait. So you'll also remember that the library building committee um, voted, and this was after a lot of internal discussion and a lot of research by Ellen and her staff about the AMH, the, I'm sorry, the. Automated. Yeah, the AMH, the Automated Material Handling System. Yep. That was $157,000 and change, plus a pretty hefty yearly contract. Is that a euphemism for a vending machine? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that was, that was an automated, yeah, right. So it was an automated um, book handling system. Oh, okay. That okay. just wasn't gonna work for our operation. Yeah. So it's about that amount of money that we're, we're looking at. Um, so, we have that piece, and please do jump in, Ellen, if I'm missing anything, because this has been a real group effort with all of us. So when, so, when we did all the transfers, mm -hmm. okay, we, we, we talked about transferring, taking that money and, and accounting for it in the 900. So if you, are you looking to now take that 258 and add to the 900? 250, no, 150. I mean, 158. And add, yeah, we were requesting an additional $158,000 so for FF&E. When we came to you before, we were facing um, increased prices in furniture. Mm -hmm. That was what we came to you mm -hmm. for. These are now supplies that um, we feel like we need to open the makerspace to get a refrigerator for the kitchens. We, mm -hmm. we have two kitchens, one for the public and one for the staff. Mm -hmm. Um, to outfit the children's room. To outfit the children's room. room. Yeah. It's, it's, it's equipment, um, not furniture, not fixtures, but it's equipment. Mm -hmm. and, so why don't yeah. we put, I mean, uh, put the list together, itemize list what they are, and then we'll, we can address it. I mean, obviously we can't, we can't just, we can't vote on it today anyways, it's not on the agenda. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need to see what we're talking about. But, but don't don't we need to don't we need to uh, have an understanding as to whether it's coming or not? Because some of this, I, if you're trying to have all this stuff open for June one, some of the stuff needs to be ordered between you have the next. The custodial meeting. stuff needs to be ordered, you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Otherwise, we don't have anything to clean all the carpet we just walked on. Mm -hmm. Clearly needs it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Mm -hmm. Well, I still don't feel right, feel as though we can vote on it tonight. So we should have this list. And then if we have to have another meeting next week or the week after. I would suggest we have a meeting next week. You publish the list, get the list over to the chairman. He can distribute it to everyone. Let's do it correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what's the total amount you need above and beyond nine hundred thousand dollars? One fifty eight. One fifty eight thousand. Is that giant list you just gave us? Yeah. It is a giant list. It's, it's a giant. List. It's just not. You had a change. You had a change in No, no, I am not. No, I just don't have it all in front of me. Right. Okay. Yeah. But, but I know you don't have the pots and pieces to it. Mm. All right. I gave you some some examples of yeah. of the items that. Are needed. So okay. the ninety thousand for the computer equipment is in the one fifty eight, or that's that. It's yeah, in the one fifty eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can confidently say we're going to have one point one million to one point two five million. <laughs> I thought you said no one point two. Yeah, that just changed. I just four million. I just fixed yeah. it. One hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> In your head. <laughs> well, I said easy. <laughs> take long. <laughs> I don't know that there's anything else, though, that you guys are going to need other than scrap rods and ends. Mm. You know, and of course, the, the 100,000 we're accounting for in construction probably won't be 100,000 when Mike's done. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll probably be somewhat less than. Mm -hmm. So, for some maybe other change we've had. Yeah. And Ellen and her staff have been very thorough in putting these lists together. So they're not, it's not, it's not incomplete by any means. Mm -hmm. So just one, one question. Mm -hmm. So I understand you need the pots and pieces. George needs the, the Zamboni and the, this. And that. <laughs> right. yeah, so well, I mean, they, they literally going to ride around and do all that yeah, stuff. Right. Uh -huh. I get it. But, <laughs> Like the equipment, the, the materials for the makerspace, wouldn't that be operating budget? I mean, what are you going to do when we're done? Why wouldn't that come out of the operating budget? Is it just something that we didn't think of that way back when the budgets were being made because it wasn't open yet? That's why I want to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure we're not doing something that wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And on anything that's not like a computer, I think we all understand that, but with anything that's unique, could mm -hmm. there be either a link or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think there we can. Yeah, those in those lists, yeah. yeah. Can I assume that there's one of these for each of the, what I would call the public meeting rooms? That those, yes, that's the, the those are on yeah. so your list. list. Yeah, that's the, um, the wall-mounted monitors. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're working with, Lisa's working with it. Couple AV, she's had a couple AV help me houses. Yeah, vendors, yeah, yeah. Monitors, yeah. Come through and, and make sure we're getting the right thing for the usage that's required in that room or that's planned for that room and the right size. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will do that. Yep, I'll do, do that. Any other? I have nothing. I just don't know. Don't know. Even less than that. when you started. So, yeah. Mm. I have nothing but good news to report. So we have the approval of DA Sullivan's bill. Do you have that in front of you? Because I, I do. My desk. You can read it if you want. Because I okay. left my glasses with. And the, left everything. I, I ran out. Wow. Come <laughs> check the numbers. Just give it to Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make glasses. <laughs> Are you a 250? 1.25? 1.25. 6.55. 9.98.28. That's in line. 153,998. Can I see it just? 28. It's current payment due. Okay. So there's a motion made by who? Me? Second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Made yeah. Mm -hmm. Seconded? I'll second. Okay. Any questions on? That motion. Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Oh. Aye. Ed says aye. Ed says aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. So um, one other one other quick thing. So as we you're gonna take possession of the building probably for the next monthly meeting uh, as a as a community. Okay. So we will 
you're going to take possession of the building as soon as you have a certificate of occupancy. Legally, you possess the building. Mm-hmm. So, um, what's the other Yeah, right. Um, so, it, there's a whole list of things that are going to happen. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we, the OPM, the designer, uh, and the architect have to agree on the punch list. Uh, and then we have to value the punch list because uh, monies after that get released as things get done, not by percentages. So the rules change a little bit as we get closer to the end. Um, and things are going to break. Things are going to work. Uh, we built through a beautiful building, but we are not perfect. So um, I'll have Mike give Ellen a form. We track them all. Uh, so when something's not right, uh, Ellen, we, we want to track every work order. And you have a warranty on everything uh, for the first year. So we want to make sure that the city does not attempt to fix something and void the warranty. So we want to have the tracking of all of these items because if something that doesn't get fixed right during that year and it gets extended. All right, so we wanna make sure we give you the best. All the way through. And then about 15, 20 days before the warranty expires, we'll walk through the building with DA Sullivan and the designer and make sure that we don't have any dangling uh, warranty items. Knowing George, there won't be any, but I don't think George will be there for that inspection. So, and that is the warranty. I'll tell you from my experience with the high school. There were things that were over a year. There were longer warranties than a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have one now. Well, I say we. I don't. Um, other than that's a taxpayer one that has to be addressed now. That was noticed before the warranty expired, and then I was called, and I was chair what eight years ago, and they called me, and I said the warranty expired. Three months ago, oh. we've been known about this three months ago. Would have been covered, so we need to keep on track of that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, how, when do you anticipate Mike to be off site? Mike will be running the construction meetings till we no longer need construction meetings, and I will guess that that will be probably another three meetings, maybe four meetings. Uh, then Mike, uh, Mike will start splitting his time in about a week uh, with Westfield. Uh, He's gonna be building a new elementary school in Westfield. Um, And um, the punch list will be followed up by another one of our employees. So we will, we're not leaving, but Mike will be leaving. Right, so he'll be physically offsite. But he will be physically available. He'll he'll be back when there's a problem. Yeah, sure. (laughs) And thankfully, both Mike and Dan are Somewhat local now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where they live. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I even made maple syrup. Oh, wow. 22 pints. Wow. wow. Not bad, huh? Not bad. <laughs> bad at all. So it was a little ghetto for the kid from the city to do it, but I got it back. $10 a pint. Um, before we get too far out, were we going to vote on um, the March minutes? Yeah, I was going to mention that. We need approval. Did you make, did you, did you make that? I, I move that we approve the March minutes. Okay. Is there a second? No, I'll second that, sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Not to do roll call anymore. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Not with everybody here. It's, 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 we're live, live in person. Mm. Um, that's so we already did the FF and E update. Yep. We skipped around there. So I have one. Yep. I have a so <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are all aware. The city received a technical assistance grant. I'm going to read this and engaged the services of Stantec for a parking study of downtown. Okay. Stantec is working on that study now, and their recommendations for parking numbers, configuration, prices, etc will not be complete by the end of the summer. Those results will not be available before we open the new library. So the city needs to come up with a parking plan for the new library before the consultant's recommendations are made public. Danny Letourneau asked me to survey the staff about parking at the library. I have done so. Now she would like me to share 
uh, survey with you guys and get some input from you. It's real short, real quick. Um, so tomorrow I'll send you the link to the survey. Please complete it by next Friday, April the 14th. Here's what I would say that I think I did email about this. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, as the mayor can tell you, and that is, you know, who's sat in this room many years, parking and trees are the two most controversial things in, mm -hmm. in any community. And so for a building community to, building committee to really weigh in on you parking usage, it's, I, I, I would say you're going to get six different answers. 10 different answers, 10 different recommendations. And to be quite honest with you, how many people here have experience with developing parking plans? Mm. I don't think, I don't, I don't really think it, it, I think we go down a bad road by getting involved in that. It's once we get the keys, here you go. <laughs> and I think it's part of what I was going to talk to you about oh, is that very thing. Yeah. I can read to you from Danny's original memo what she was looking for from the library staff and I think it's not too dissimilar from what you folks were looking for uh, what well, we would be you know either signing off on or adding to and it was a confirmation on the number of spots in the that are now there and you may have that answer right I, now I just have to plan out from this okay. Uh, and an updated, she, she was not available to me today to ask her how much update she got. So I thought I would just come and ask for a status. So I'm glad you started out on that. Um, I would like to, uh, she said she would like to know, uh, all, okay, confirmation on the number of spots and overhead diagram of the lot. I assume that maybe is part of what you said. I would like to know what you all think about should occur in the space. Should the parking be free? That's question number one. And I just put in a plug for no. Uh, <laughs> no such thing as free parking. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Uh, well, there is on, Peter, sat on Saturdays, but that's it. Still, it still costs somebody. Yeah. So this, yeah. this, question, cost this question came up with the previous mayor when we were yeah. in the uh, beginnings of, of this. And uh, the, the MBLC had a requirement for spaces, but they didn't care if they were meeting. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that was my recollection. So you don't have anything to worry about with the grant if you deeded them. Yeah. Uh, if you don't meet them, you're going to have a lot of people from that courthouse using that. You are, you are 100% going to have yeah. that happen. And fun. even if you meet them, they're going to do that. But, yeah. uh, but less so because they've gotten mm -hmm. used to not having a parking lot. So a lot of them are in the garage mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. So, uh, or pay, so free or paid, how many parking spots should be 15 minutes only? And I think that is an important mm -hmm. maybe staff question uh, that hopefully has gotten answered at some point. How many handicapped spots? That's determined that's by the code. Yeah. yeah. That's what uh, we're in, in our right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I, I actually, she must have forgotten because I, I told her that a long time ago. And other special spots are planned. Uh, or or do, do you recommend any other special types? Of Building spots? committee chair. Spot. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mayor. You, you, you have some EV charging stations. Four spaces. Okay. You have yeah. EV charging okay. stations that are going to be something separate. I don't know whether you have a policy in town to do veterans parking. We do, but not. We, but they've been designated, so we would, if we wished to have them back there. One or two, we would do. There's a designation process. There are already installed. The NV or the no the veterans veterans, veterans. veterans. oh I'm veterans. sorry I think you said veterans. preferred no uh, no uh, <laughs> if the spots are paid would this go to the general parking fund or would you like to see it go elsewhere mm. for instance Forbes Library mm. it goes to the friends mm. are there any friends mm -hmm. <laughs> we're all friends and friends yeah right yeah, yeah. friends and friends <laughs> okay uh, I don't know how you send them do that but that's yeah. So if you if you know for a fact that there are requirements per code of the grant, please highlight those. Um, and at some point, those recommendations will go to parking and traffic, uh, and she'll ask them for the same feedback. So I will admit I was I was and I didn't I, I think I knew, but I had forgotten that the stand text, which was supposed to be done by now, was or by late spring or right around now, maybe April. Uh, late April um, wasn't going to be done until the summer. That's maybe news to me, but I it sort of rings a bell. That's different. This was sent out March one. 
I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say, I, I will admit that I was a little puzzled by that e the email and receiving that letter because it didn't feel like something, it should be something that is a decision by the city, not policy the city. The city. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, and there's just so much to parking. I mean, it, there are people that get paid lots of money to figure out parking, and they typically do a We're paying a consultant. And they typically also to, yeah, yeah, to give us recommendations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We also need a staff person in yeah. town. But I think the staff. To staff. handle that, all of the parking issues. Yeah. Yeah. Just that yeah. person's not into the staff because we. Yeah, the staff. Ah, the staff yeah. Yeah. For sure. And yeah. 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 to you guys because you've been uh, instrumental uh, in guiding this. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Just as a, you know, not. Just as general residents of Greenfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if you were to say, either by a vote or a consensus, that you didn't feel it was something that the committee should be weighing in, she'd be fine with that. She okay. just wants to know. Does someone want to make a motion? <laughs> <laughs> At least for discussion. I might, I might add yeah. that in two weeks, it's the library trustees' bill. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. The yeah. 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 We should have a public hearing and invite everybody, oh. community, to weigh in on what they think the parking lot oh. should be like. <laughs> uh, that was after we turn over the building. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. 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 We have a public hearing on the color of the stripes. The color of the stripes. Yeah. Yeah. I would be willing to make a motion that the, the building committee does not need to weigh in on this. That it's a policy decision of the city. Second. Anyone else have a parking? All in favor? Aye. Aye. See, now you can say when someone complains, I don't know, we just built them. <laughs> You're going to complain, call the mayor's office. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> so I will email Danny. Okay. Call Danny. She's looking for him. And I can, <laughs> I can guarantee you somebody's going to come into the library on a regular basis and say, I can't find a parking place. <laughs> yada, 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 yada. When the, something about you know, it. High school was built, uh, we heard over and over and over, you took away parking. Yeah. And I said there's 64 park, more parking spots yeah. in high school than there is. The, the only difference is they're not all in front of the building. Yeah. yeah. Right. Depending on what side you consider the front of the building. Exactly. Right. You, know, you all want to go in through the auditorium and yeah. the parking. Five's all the way around. That's all. You got to walk. Mm -hmm. There's not enough spots. Not what people want then. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to steal your... No, no, not at all. No, I'm, I'm delighted to see you addressing it because you had more update. I was just going to ask, had there been any updated information in the meantime? Because I was unable to uh, reach Danny. She had a personal day today, and I was unable to reach her to see what her latest information was. So. She was waiting for me to talk to you guys. <laughs> figure that out before June 1st or... How does that work with yours? Mm. Uh, that it doesn't affect us. My guess We're is giving up, I guess. turn over parking lot to the library trustees as it was planned in the. On the site. And are you aware of the next parking and traffic commission meeting? It's always at the end of the month. End of the month, so it's probably going to be at the end of this month. Anything else? I think we're putting Ed to oh. sleep. Yeah. Oh. Ed? I just. Ed? Oh. He's on different. <laughs> A different time zone. You know? <laughs> I, I just want to understand: are are the lines going to be painted in the parking lot before uh, this commission weighs in on these issues? I and and the parking lot is going to be built to the specifications yeah. approved by lot. the planning board of the city of Greenfield, which includes striping, handicapped spaces. Curb cuts, et cetera. Okay. One, two more quick questions. Um, there was talk about having a couple of the parking spaces on the main on Main Street, right in front of the entrance to the library, be designated as handicapped parking spaces. There was also talk in the past about having no, it was not to empty out in just traffic. Yeah. Mm. And then there was also talk about maybe having some spaces for limited mobility parkers as opposed to handicapped parkers that somewhere along the line. Mm -hmm. That's a slippery slope. So all of that stuff, I think that's with your parking consultants doing it yeah. with okay. the entire town. 
What we okay. have to do, we, we, we're, we're bound. Cool. We have X number of spaces. We're striping it the way we striped it. It's laid out the way it was approved by the city engineers and the planning board. We're installing it. We're handing it over to you guys, and you're going to park in it. All right. When the commission comes out with whatever it is that they come out with, it'll either be paid, not paid. I believe it's a city parking lot. It is not a library parking lot. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's okay. see. Well, park it. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you. One other thing. Did you? I did. Um, but I think that problem has been resolved. I um, The First National Bank... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that bank, no one over at that bank is still alive, as far as I know. Uh, the Great Hill Savings Bank uh, paid for a a B sculpture, the Reading B, with the hopes that it would be put near the library, uh, new or old, um, and uh, the. B Fest is coming and the B is ready and it, they would like to have it be part of what was going to happen uh, this year in B Fest. Um, but I've worked with Rachel on it and uh, I think uh, there was a there was a, a prevailing opinion <laughs> that the landscape committee did not want a B on the library area. So the expanse of concrete out front um, and I wanted to make sure that everybody on the committee and everybody at board of trustees and everyone understands it's up to the sidewalk the sidewalks belong to the city mm. so um, but we we think we've come up with a different location that I think will be fine that doesn't involve the new library Okay. Oh, cool. But I don't know that for a fact yet and won't know it till the DPW gets over and looks at the new location. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, other than that, the RP for the old library went out last Wednesday, so hopefully we'll have... Yes, it, did. Mm -hmm. it is a 90-day process, however, and not a 60-day return, you know, uh, response process. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because there's a significant amount of work done, need, needs to be done in there, we know <coughs> might be wanting to bid on it, need to be able to, you know, consult engineers, architects, whatever they need to do. But yeah, we have, we have high hopes. Mm -hmm. Good. Good for that. Um, I don't think being perfect. perfect. Someone. Oh, perfect. I, Was this a reissue, reissuing? Yeah. The, okay. And it's been revised to acknowledge even further the extent to which that building needs a lot of work only fair mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i didn't read the whole thing is there some sort of contingency for um, the fire station to continue to store what they're storing in the current library basement if not that i read <laughs> no, I, don't I don't think that would ever be anybody no no no, 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 no. not a, a private, private owner it would just yeah. be Mm -hmm. Only out of the kindness of their heart. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and it would be subject to whatever they were going to do with the building. I mean, obviously, within the confines of what we have set out, which mm -hmm. is, of course, to honor the historical nature of the building and mm -hmm. so forth. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thanks. Nobody has anything else? Uh, you make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Amy's motion. <laughs> Is there a second? Amy's <laughs> motion. I'm second. Second. Sure. Motion's like All in favor. Thank you. Uh, I believe it was <laughs> turned in. Thank you. I know I have a question already, but give me a minute, Kim, and let me think about it. Foundation.